hello there everyone my name is Amy this is the Epidiated Woman and today we're going on a book shopping adventure um, I've had this idea for a series in my mind for a little while um, I just had to wait until uh, I got a little bit further down in my physical TBR and a little bit more up in my monetary funds and both of those things have happened um, I have three books on my physical TBR right now that I haven't read so I have three books that are unread on these shelves, um, which is not very many, especially at the rate that I read. So I knew that I needed to stock up. And what is the best way to do that? Secondhand book. Secondhand books, book thrifting, whatever you want to call it, that's what we're going to do. So I decided to divide it up into three different areas in Cape Town. And this time we are going to be dealing with the Southern Suburbs. So I've picked three of my favorite secondhand bookstores in the Southern Suburbs, and we're going to go and we're going to stock up my bookshelves. So let's go. Okay, we are on our way. The first stop is the place that I know as the bookshop in OBS, <laughs> which is just a, a bookshop that is an observatory. Um, so I am going to fetch my sibling. Uh, I'm going to park by their place because uh, they live in observatory. And then we're going to head to the bookshop and then we're going to have a little bite of lunch. It's going to be very delightful. The time. picked up the young one it is here uh, um what is this bookshop called I, I just keep on calling it the bookshop in obs obs books <laughs> it has a name fuck i didn't even think about that we'll it's just out. called obs books that's what i said but i was like i think that's just what i call it in my head it's just the bookstore we'll find out when we're main, in there but main road, lower main road. i don't know what yes lower main road that's where we're, it is by the way i haven't actually rec uh, said where any of these places are between tap tap and something else. And something we else. Go to tap tap. Tap tap. tap. Next it's door. Nice. Next door. It's got ice cream. You know that freaking ice. What was that ice cream South we African got? That the blackjack ice cream. Blackjack ice cream. Black cream. Freaking sick. Yeah. So delicious. And you, probably if you're not from South Africa, you don't know what blackjack. But are. like, tip top. Us, it's do recommend because it's nice to know that blackjacks can do anything else except cause pain. Stick to your fucking legs like non-stop. Yeah. Oh my god, so annoying. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to see what we find. It is a mystery. Mm -hmm. Come along with us. This is the sound we make when we peruse. <laughs> this place rocks. This place is amazing. <laughs> What's what you found? <laughs> and then that's the cover. Can I put this on YouTube? I don't know. Yes. <laughs> what you can. We have bought books. I will show you what I got later. Jay, do you want to show what you got? Macadamia cappuccino. Coffee, coffee, coffee. And then we are in this hello. This freaking sick ass place that is called Beazel. Beazel. On Lower Main. Look at this shit, man. Oh my god. It's so badass. Yes, this is a place of witches. Mm -hmm. Show us your book. I got. I'm gonna get freaking copyrighted. Someone rescued. Nice. So. Sick. <laughs>
we're taking bookshop down and it had ice cream. What do you have? Cookie dough. I have popcorn. So good. Cookie dough. Right. Whatever. On to bookshop number three. <laughs> the rib cake. <laughs> Sounds so appetizing. And get your hunger. The tree. The this little book bookshop. This is the magic book by Alice Crowley. He was insane. <laughs> the magicians of the golden dawn. Oh my god. These straight edges. These must be hand painted. Right, I am back. That was a really good day. Um, as you saw, my sibling Jay stayed with me the rest, the whole of the day. They were first just going to stay with me for the obs portion because they live in obs. Uh, but then they came for with me for the rest of the time, and it was a really, really fun time. I'm glad they came. They even picked up some books for themselves. Um, do you want to see my haul? Because I was meant to pick up one book at each shop. I can explain. I can explain. <laughs> There's just so many good ones there and so many like books that, that were on my TBR because yesterday I decided okay I'm going to read through my TBR because I haven't looked at it um, for a while on my story graph. Let me just have a look at it just make sure like I know what I'm looking for. <sighs> oh my god. Like I'm so glad I did that because I found three books that have been on my TBR for forever, but we'll get into that. Right, so the first bookshop we hit was Ob's Books. We were confused about the name, but it was called Ob's Books. Um, that has always been a really great bookstore. They have really incredible selection, and they're, they're very particular about the things that they pick, and I'm so glad. And as you can see from the first clip in Ob's Books, I found Coconut by Capano Matla. Um, I just recently put this book on my TBR because Nonzamo Shigase did a um, reading vlog about it and she waxed lyrical about it. So I'm so super, super excited to get into it, especially because of a South African author. Um, if you're not from South Africa, coconut is kind of a derogatory term that people um, call people of color who are white on the inside. Um, so they get called coconuts. So this is basically following a field where who grew up black in white suburbia, uh, where the cost of fitting in can be your identity. So that's incredibly interesting to me. Um, I don't know too much about it. I just know it says it is, it, it's against a backdrop of potential loss that two extraordinary young women struggle to find themselves. So I am super excited to get into this one. Um, I've heard nothing but good things. And I just, I really want to add another great South African author to my list of authors that I could read from. Then I was happily just going to leave the shop with that and then I saw a whole stack of Jeanette Winterson's and I read Lighthouse Keeping by Jeanette Winterson earlier this year and I absolutely loved it but the book that has been recommended to me the most from her is Oranges Are Not the Only Fruit, obviously. This is a novel that's basically semi-autobiographical um, Jeanette Winston grew up in a very small town and um, a very religious household and she's queer and it's all about growing up in those circumstances and I've heard is absolutely stunning and just from reading one of her books I know how freaking good this must be if this is the most psyched uh, book of hers so as soon as I saw this I was like well I'm gonna have to buy that as well <laughs> like I have no choice so this is hopefully going to be added to my pride reading list for next year if I can wait that long if I run out of books I'll read it <laughs> then we went to the book junction which is in Palmyra Junction um, and got the creamery which you saw um, that freaking ice cream shop is the best I didn't film it at this time but it is in my South African reading vlog um, from the last time and this is another instance that I'm really glad that I looked at my TBR beforehand because otherwise I would not have picked up White Chrysanthemum by Mary Lynn Brecht. Um, this is one that I can't, this is the great thing about my TBR sometimes is that I hear about these books, I add them to my TBR and then I forget about them. And what I mean, I, I forget about them in the way that I forget exactly the plot 
but I know that I want to read it. So when I saw this, I was like, I'm sure I saw that on my uh, story graph, and I and I did. Um, Why Chrysanthemum is a, it starts in Korea 1943, um, where, Hana saves her younger sister from a Japanese soldier and and then she becomes captured and becomes a comfort woman in the Japanese army. Um, I know a little bit about comfort women, not a hell of a lot, and I thought reading a book like this would be a great way to um, learn a little bit more about this like really scary part of history. Um, and then it's also set partly in the present uh, where the sister who was saved has spent like 60 years trying to you know, come to terms with the sacrifice that her sister made. Um, and I think it's going to be really interesting. So that one I was good. I only bought the one. <laughs> um, but then we went to the bookshop. The bookshop has always been my favorite secondhand bookstore. It used to be in Takai in like a really shitty center. And now it's in a much better place in um, Plumstead. Um, so it's in 32 Arts something art I'm gonna be linking all of these shops down below um, with their addresses and everything so you know exactly where they are because I really do recommend them and there I picked up I picked up two <laughs> um, their selection is always amazing they're like really particular about the donations that they take um, and I don't know how they manage to source their books but they do it really well so the first one I picked up was animal by Lisa Tadeo and this book looks untouched it looks like no one's ever read this book like I would be shocked like the spine isn't even cracked so I'd be shocked if this book is not just fucking brand new and I mean look at this cover it's gorgeous um so I heard of Lisa today because of her book um three women yes three women um I never read that one but this is her latest uh book which is crazy that's the who latest book was at the second hand bookstore um but I I can't remember exactly what it's about in a haunting visceral novel of women surviving men <laughs> that's what got me um it, the, at the top it says here i am depraved i hope you like me mm. um at 36 joan knows more than most of the price of pleasure the ugh, the horror of being a woman at the mercy of a man she's no she knows men too their passion for cruelty the violence she's absorbed over decades and then now threatens to burst from her own hands Reeling from the public suicide of her former lover, Joan abandons her apartment in New York and drives west for California in search of the one person who will help unravel her past. So I just thought it sounded really um, intriguing and uh, uh, like feministy, I guess. Um, so I, I just thought, you know what, let me just give this a go. Like it's an author that I've never read from before. It sounds really interesting. It is in such perfect condition. Like I just had to. I just had to. Um, then thinking, okay, that's going to be the last book that I buy. I just wandered over to the thriller section. <laughs> um, I have not bought a secondhand thriller in a long time. And that's how I used to read thrillers. Because I read through them so fast, I might as well buy them secondhand. And I couldn't help myself when I saw The Turn of the Key by Ruth Ware. Um, I've never bought one of her books before. I literally only have like maybe three different thriller authors on my shelves. Because I usually read them on audio. Um, but I just recently read The It Girl from Ruth Ware and I really enjoyed it. And I've heard that The Turn of the Key is a really good one. It's a retelling of The Turn of the Screw. Um, so she's basically, it's following a woman who, oh yes, she lives in a smart home. She goes to be a nanny and she lives in a smart home. And she doesn't know that she's going to step into a nightmare and it's set in the Scottish Highlands. Um, so I don't want to know too much about it like as like, so many thriller books give like such a spoiler on the back and I don't want to uh, fall into that trap so yeah I am super excited uh, to get into this one um, I don't know what I'm gonna be reading first but anyway my shelves are now well stocked I've got eight books on my shelves that I haven't read excellent um, two of those I'm hoping to save for my pride reading because generally during pride I read through like all of the queer books that I have and then I've got none left and then I need to accumulate them before my next sort of pride reading um but oranges are not the only fruit and um a book that I bought for myself during the week at bargain books um I'm gonna go onto that list but for now this is the end of this video I hope you enjoyed coming along with me I hope if you're in Cape Town you give these bookshops a try I really recommend them I had 
a whale of a time today. Um, so if you did enjoy this, please like, comment, subscribe, all of that fun stuff. If you ever want to contribute to my channel, there's a coffee link down below for a little one-time tip. Much appreciated. But without further ado, I'll check you next time.